gold price just took its worst hit. Investors dump millions. Let's get right into this. This is on Reuters. And Reuters tells us that U.S. equity funds see sharp outflows as investors brace for extended high rates. This latest news that we're just hearing today about the Fed making it clear 2024 will be a year that maybe at best will get one rate cut. This is a huge change from six weeks ago, and it's impacting gold. This is this is not just Wall Street. Typically, when uh, the Fed makes an announcement, Wall Street jumps. I mean, they don't say how high, they just jump, right? And this article says, U.S. equity funds suffered sharp outflows, outflows in the seven days to April 17th as investors anticipated prolonged restrictive interest rates amid stubborn inflation in a resilient U.S. economy. It's so bizarre to see those two words in one sentence having such an impact, inflation and resilient, right? Because this economy is showing to be resilient. It absolutely is. The, the struggle that we are going through with the Fed and inflation is that Labor, our labor market is tight, wages are showing strength, and people are increasing their demand. So the Fed is trying to is trying to control that, right? And uh, what really has has shown its ugly head today is that as this struggle that we went through after the pandemic, right, with uh, with shipping being frozen and we couldn't get anything on, to the market, as that has eased and we have all the products that we want access to, people are buying. And that buying and buying is keeping prices up. So we're, we're, th- that, is, that is hitting the, this entire country because as prices stay up, the, the one word that is stuck to that is inflation, period. And the Fed is, is just insistent on the one go-to, the one go-to they have, which is dealing with uh, interest rates. So as investors have, have, have accepted and swallowed um, this difficult pill that, okay, we are not going to see rate cuts coming down the pike. Maybe we will see one in December if we're lucky. As that reality is hitting, it's playing out everywhere. So let's continue. This article says that, uh, yes, conflict escalation in the Middle East following Iran's attack on Israel also has dampened risk appetite. Um, According to LSEG data, investors offloaded a net $21 billion worth of U.S. equity funds, the most in a week since December of 2022. Now, the article says, a Fed, Federal Reserve Chair Jerome Powell commented on recent U.S. inflation trends, indicating that the central bank could continue its restrictive monetary policy if inflation remains elevated. Uh, U.S. large-cap equity funds suffered $11.5 billion worth of net selling, the biggest outflow in a week since February. And... L- Listen to this. Listen to these numbers. Uh, the the funds saw net disposals of 2.7 billion and 2.13 billion and 526 million, respectively, during the week. Now, U.S. investors offloaded consumer discretionary, healthcare, and here it is, gold and precious metals funds worth a net. I'll just stick with the gold and precious metals. A net of 447 million dollars that was offloaded. Now, this is going to absolutely impact our price that we're seeing for gold. We've been waiting for a correction for gold, and we didn't think it was going to come this way. right? When, when we say, as, as silver stackers and gold stackers, when we say that a correction is coming in the spot price, that we're typically talking about the uh, staircase pattern that we would see in a chart for gold historically. right? Gold, same thing with silver. The precious metals, they jump up. Everybody gets excited, and then they level off. They'll come down a little bit. They'll level off. They'll jump up a little higher. They'll come down a bit, level off. Like Those are the corrections that we see. And as gold, starting about four or five weeks ago, as gold made that enormous uh, breakthrough 
hitting 2300, 2400. As we've seen this, everyone is waiting for the correction to happen. Now, uh, we didn't expect it to be in this this massive offload, right, from investors, $447 million just being dumped. Uh, that was not expected. And, and as this plays out, we're going to see that gold will certainly come back down again. And of course, as gold com- comes back down, so will silver. So silver, silver clearly follows gold. It has a lag. This last, this, uh, last time when gold shot up, and it, it, it literally hovered at about $2,300 for a week or two before silver finally moved. And everybody was about to give up on silver. Everybody was waiting what's going on. But it did, just, just like it always does. It played, it part, it played its part. It, it went through a, a lag. And then silver is now at about $28, $20. Hopefully, uh, we, could, we could go a little higher. But now seeing gold do this, it's really changing predictions. And it's, tra- it's changing the forecast for precious metals. Because when we see investors dumping this much of gold, it's going to impact the price of silver. It, that they, they work in tandem always. History has shown that. So although we've had a lot of excitement this week with uh, silver uh, remaining high and gold remaining high, even as the dollar and treasuries have also remained high, that, that's shocked everyone. Well, what we're going to see coming down the pike here, and uh, if you're enjoying this content, please hit the like button and hit subscribe. It really helps a lot. What we're going to see coming down the pike here, I'm, I'm, and also I'm, I'm, uh, I'm just a silver stacker. I'm not giving you financial advice. I'm just telling you my experience with, with stacking metals. We're going to see that gold is going to drop, and this is going to be the correction for gold. So this could play, this could play out uh, next week. It could play out by the end of next week. But we're certainly going to see that this, this great run, uh, hopefully the correction won't be too strong. Uh, typically with precious metals, it, it won't drop down too far. But I absolutely see a correction coming, uh, especially with this data that we're getting showing that investors are dumping such a large amount, million, $447 million of gold being dumped. That is, that is a big drop, and it will certainly hit, hit the spot price. Even we we've seen a lot going on this past week with every area that typically impacts precious metals, right? Iran uh, attacking Israel, uh, people felt very uncertain about that. But now, as, even as that rolls out, we're seeing that things are starting to calm in that area, and uh, people are feeling more at ease. And whenever whenever people are uncertain uncertain about about war about the economy that's when they go to precious metals but as things ease ease off and people feel more uh, confident they pull away from precious metals and that is also going to cause this correction that's coming down the pike for gold and for silver <laughs>